You're that visitor been poking around. Well, I think I may be doing a bit more than that. Turns out I need to rent a room in the attic. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. All right, fair enough. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business Down to keep track of strangers. Ulfric, the killer of kings. Very well. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Okay, so she did have it. Good to know. Yeah, I never realized how lively this tavern gets, even during late hours like this. Because, I mean, Riverwood is a pretty small town, after all. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much You're else to tell. Me, and it seems like the taverns get even more full than, say, a place like Whiterun. Now we can talk. Oh yeah, I remember this place. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. And... Seeing as how you're the one who took the horn... I think you may have a bit of explaining to do. Surprised? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Yeah, so what's with all the sneaking around? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. Thalmor, huh? Well, I'm just here for the horn. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. All right, go on. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Yeah, I got that. But how do I know I can trust you? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Well, I believe I can handle myself. But even now, you still haven't told us why you took the horn in the first place. Was that just to get our attention? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. Okay. And I gotta wonder, why are the Thalmor after you? Yes. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. Okay. I think I'm starting to understand. But I still don't know why you need... a Dragonborn. Or me, in this case. We remember what most don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Without a doubt. I mean, after all, that is how I kind of learned I was the dragon born in the first place. Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Really? Well, you have told us quite a bit so far, but I still feel like there might be something you're leaving out. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. 
All right. Well, what makes you think the dragons are coming back to life? I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. So where are we headed? Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Well, let's be on our way then. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. So I think this might be where we encounter our first bone dragon. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. But I feel like even if we stop this one, won't something continue to resurrect all the rest? Because from what I remember, Alduin was doing that, right? Although it's Orgar, been so long, I I'm suppose traveling. it could be something else. Back. Right. Happy trails. Now, apparently there are a few other things we can do that still kind of revolve around this whole Dragonborn thing. Uh, for starters, and I guess Another the most boring key. would be just returning the horn to the Greybeards. Right Although I think even something as simple as that might turn into us learning some new shouts and whatnot. And then... Of course, there's also the burial ground thing, which we're on our way to do right now. And then lastly, if you guys remember the assassins who sort of stopped us in Riverwood, they were supposed to catch a boat to head back to their homeland. Or wherever the so-called Mirak was. And so I think we can catch that instead. You don't want to go up there. A dragon. It's attacking. Oh, yeah. Up in Keen's Grove, right? Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. I don't blame you. I'm afraid we'll have to continue that way, though. See what's going on. Oh, yeah. That's Alduin right there, isn't it? Look at that big bastard. Keep your head down. Let's see what it does. All right, let's leave the horse behind. Because you never know what might happen here. I think this might prove my theory, though, where Alduin resurrects him. Zalukanir, Kri Dar Jur. 
Well, I think I know enough to have an idea that that is bad news for us. I will say I was wrong about him really being a bone dragon because it really didn't take too long for him to acquire some of his or all of his skin I should say What can I say? Let's move faster. The sun is... It's not great for my skin. It's true, isn't it? You really are Dragonborn. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know, nothing held back. All right. First things first. Do you have any idea why these dragons are coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. And so what do you want with me then? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Okay. So that explains the sword on our side. But you said something about the blades, and how they were looking for a purpose. Is there anything else I should know? Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. What's our next move, then? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. All right. Now, according to you, you believe the Thalmor are behind all this? Why is that? Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Well, I really don't think that's going to be the case. But I guess even still, we won't rule it out. Now, when it comes to learning more about the Thalmor, do you have any ideas, or do you just want to head straight to the embassy? If we could get into the Thalmor embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. All right, well, how do we get into their embassy? Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. 
It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. Well, guys, from what I remember, this was one of the better quests throughout the entire game. Because it involves a decent amount of story along with maybe some fighting if it really comes down to it, but more so a lot of sneaking around and it's almost like a heist in a way, which is kind of cool. And then when it really comes down to it, at least we'll maybe get to learn a bit more about why the dragons are here. And I think that's probably what's most important, or at least at this point in time. Oh, they're still there, aren't they? Oh, what happened? They, uh, messed with the wrong people. What a waste. Need something? I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. Well, wasn't there one more guy? We end up needing to help us out. Because I could have sworn he was trapped somewhere in Riften, wasn't he? I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Oh, so you're not coming? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. Uh, I guess that is a good point, isn't it? Alright then, what's the plan? And how exactly do I get in there? The Thalmor ambassador, Ellen Wimp, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? No, that sounds good. And that being said, I suppose I'll meet you there. Although, I guess one thing I'm not too sure about is this contact of yours. Are you sure we can trust him? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. All right, I think that's enough said. I'm sure we can trust him. Once I'm in the embassy though, what then? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. All right, see you in solitude then. Sounds good. Be careful. Will do.